everyone, welcome back. Well, today we're reviewing a brand new cigar. Just came out at this year's TPE in Las Vegas, but it's been around for a week or two. Small batch cigars had them, and that's where I got them, and you can get them there too. This is the Villa Castagli Pegasus. Pegasus. I love that name, Pegasus. It is 5 by 54, 58, and it has a closed foot. There's your density. Now you might remember uh, back a while, uh, bespoke cigars. Well, there was sort of a trademark infringement that uh, Alex Bradley said you can't use that name. That's uh, I have that in the U.S. market. So, bespoke cigars became Castagli, and uh, that's where we are. So, uh, if you remember bespoke, uh, Castagli is basically the same thing. Now, this is um, based on uh, this type of blend is based on the Daughters of the Wind uh, series that. Uh, uh, bespoke with had such great uh, success with and it utilizes the Mojarado process or improvement process and you read about that on the lead-in uh, when they received the tobaccos at their uh, factory in, in Puriscal uh, master blender Don Olman Guzman selects some of the, of the tobaccos to go through a second two to four month fermentation until he satisfied that, that there is just what he wants. Now, uh, this Pegasus uh, was originally uh, started in Cuba during the 1990s and is sometimes referred to as the flying pig Vitola. Uh, now, if you notice one thing about Castagli cigars, if you look at the blends, they're four sizes, but they're all blended a little differently. And that's why I showed that on there. This particular size, the Pegasus, has uh, two times the Peruvian tobacco, uh, one time of the Dominican Republic tobacco, and one time Nicaraguan. The other three are slightly different, and that's what makes them interesting. All of these are available in 12 count boxes. And one thing that I thought was interesting also is that they partnered with Tobaccos de Costa Rica, which is one time was known as Vegas de San Diego, which I'm very familiar with. Uh, they go back a long way with me. I've reviewed their cigars for a while. So that's the factory. So that's sort of the long and the short of it. So why don't we get right to it? The new Villa Castagli Pegasus. Now I would first like to start off here in the uh, cutting portion by thanking the Castagli folks for sending me those pictures you saw in the lead in. Those were from the glory days, the original Villa Castagli, and that's how it looks. The building, the home, the uh, resort, if you will. It looks like a resort. All right, so we've got this nice cap to cut. That's That'll be no issue. I want to take this a little bit off. All right, we've got a, we've got a draw there, but you see that's closed. So I'm going to play it out and see if I need to use the perfect draw too, I will. But that's not, it's actually not too bad. It'll probably open up nicely.
not have to worry about sweetness in this cigar. It has it in abundance. Now I'm getting a very sharp citrus note, very sharp orange citrus, almost. Well, we'll go with that for now because it's going to develop an orange citrus, uh, honey, maple syrup, brown sugar. The pepper, and even on their website, it talks about this. It's actually a combination of white and black pepper. And I would put it at about seven to seven and a half. Seven and a half is a lot if you're talking about white pepper. Seven and a half is good above average for black pepper. So it's a nice amount. Because of all these sweet notes and the low level sweet notes, there's not really a coffee influence at the base at this point. It will develop later. But this is a very good, sweet start. Very tangy, very sweet, multiple sweet notes. Nice start. First third, and look at that burn time. Now we're in the fattest part of the cigar, so the burn time is going to be a little longer. It will probably speed up. But the cigar is rounding out really nice. You still have the same flavor notes. The, the orange citrus, I'll call it orange citrus, is very sharp. And it's very tangy. And at, at times, it's almost like a very sweet lemon. Follow me. So the flavors, as they merge, remind me of a lemon drop, the candy lemon drop. You know, probably as a kid, you had lemon drops. And they were very sweet, very tangy, almost tart. And you loved them. That's very reminiscent of the flavors in this cigar. Instead of regular sugar, as a lemon drop candy would use, it's brown sugar. But it's very sweet. There is the beginnings of a very light black coffee base. The lower level notes, the lower level sweet notes. And I'll include the maple syrup in there. because This is sort of a lower level and the, and the brown sugar. They're, they're at the base. But now there's a little black coffee at the base. You can taste it. There is also some nutmeg that has developed in the cigar. I would call it... Um, medium bodied at this point the finish is very tangy very sweet the citrus notes the brown sugar some of the nutmeg and very good lingering pepper and we said it was white black so call it what you want it tastes a little more like black on the finish because it's a little more popping white pepper is a little more subdued so it's a little more Black pepper is shown the finish. But this is an all out, no joke, sweet, tasty cigar. As my reviews have gone this year, you know that it's hard to hit a very high mark, but this one has hit it in the first third. 97 for the first third. It is fantastic. It is above fantastic. It is great. Now, as it develops, let's see what happens. But right now, there are no complaints. end of the second third I want you to look where the ash fell off I mean it's just dead nuts perfect all right indulge me here a little more background now the um, the design on the band is actually the Villa Castagli and it was the home of Castagli family patriarch Emmanuel Castagli in the early 1900s in Cairo, Egypt. 
which explains the Egyptian music you've been hearing. Castagli Cigars was actually founded in 1997, and the original production of Castagli Cigars in the 1900s was produced in Cuba. Now, as far as the cigar now, it has changed just one minute little bit. The sharp tanginess, the sharpness, has been dulled down. The same flavor notes are there. The black coffee base has got just a little wider, so it's a little more depth involved. Still medium bodied, leaning toward medium full. The finish is unchanged. That sharp citrus, almost lemon drop flavor was very appealing. And because I'm picky, I'm going to drop it to 96. Not a big deal. Still excellent. The uh, maple syrup, the citrus, the orange citrus, and it is a nice normal orange citrus now, brown sugar, nutmeg, black and white pepper, honey, and your black coffee. Those, those are your notes. Very good. So as we uh, play it out, it's getting a little smaller and we're getting a little faster burn, but let's see what happens in the final third. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. This is going to be nice and quick. Nothing to really change. Um, not enough to change anything. The, the same nice, sweet flavor notes are there. Medium to full bodied. Finish is unchanged. An excellent cigar. Excellent cigar. I'll hold 96 uh, for my final third. It is uh, well worth buying a box. Small batch sells them in four packs, so be aware of that. But once you have four, you'll probably want a box. And they come in boxes of 12. Now, one thing to also note, not to drag things out, I know I have, but the band has a backside. And if that backside of the band is initialed or signed, by one of the team members at Villa Castagli, then you get a, a prize. You can go to their website and they, they explain the different things they're giving away, but that's a promotion they're doing right now. So be aware of that. But your overall score is 96.33. Excellent in anyone's book, especially mine. So there you have it. The new Villa Castagli Pegasus, love the name, 96.33.